in the current state of the world right now, honestly, there's so much stuff. So much stuff that's wrong. So, for that reason, for many people, that are, you know, they have their own ways of dealing with this. And for gamers such as myself, the common way is to, well, play video games. Video games are great because you escape to a different world. Even if it's for a moment, it's something that we tend to do. The games that we play can range in many different genres and involve only myself or some others. But today, I want to talk about one of my favorite games to have come out in the last 10 years. This little indie game called Stardew Valley. And before I go further, I just want to clarify that any notes or like extra links will be in the description. So feel free to take a look there if you want to read more. And with that, let's continue. So what is Stardew Valley? Essentially, it is a simulation role-playing game developed by Eric Baroni, also going by the alias Concerned Ape. It was released initially for PC back in February 26, 2016. However, since then, it's been ported to all other platforms, you know, such as Nintendo Switch, uh, mobile, Xbox, PlayStation consoles. The story goes like this. Your character is stuck working a corporate job slaving away in a cubicle so one day you receive a letter from your grandfather that has recently passed. And the letter in summary says that he's left you a deed to a plot of land in a small town called Pelican Town. And with that, your character decides to quit his or her job and move to the said town. You are then greeted by Louis the Mayor and eventually you get to know the townsfolk and the surrounding areas. Now, the player is left with an overgrown plot of land that is up to them to cultivate on. Farm, fish, build, and start a new life. Now, to many people, these style of games may not seem like fun, or perhaps they don't see the game as one that is worthy of playing over something more attention grabbing and popular like Fortnite. Gee, bro, look at you, you literally hiding at 48 HP, bro. Stop being a bitch and come and fight me. You're a clown, bro. God damn, bro. Fat. You're a clown, bro. Or even Call of Duty. Shut that game. You guys are all trash cans. my dick. You guys are trash cans. Actually, yeah. Actually, yeah. I'm a fucking dick. Now doesn't that make you really want to keep playing video games? But these people clearly haven't learned to relax and use their imagination. See this game is fun because it involves imagination. Much like Minecraft, the player can choose what to do with their day by day. Whether that be farming, foraging, or mining in a dungeon, which comes later in the game. Or conversing with the townsfolk. The game gives the player options to how they want to live their life in this little simulation, in this little world. For some players, farming is what they want to do and it's relaxing to farm. After all, why else is there still new farming simulators? Now, for others, perhaps they really like the story element, so they love spending their day just talking with townsfolk to get to know them. Heck, if you wanted to, eventually you can marry one of the townsfolk and even have a kid. Although, you can't get your kid to grow up and plow the fields. I tried. Also, co-op was added in 20, 2018. So if you wanted to have a relaxing game to play with a buddy, after getting your butt kicked in Apex Legends, which I totally can't relate, or after a stressful day at work, then go ahead and end up farming by yourself while your buddy flirts with the local moms. Hashtag Jody, hashtag Pam. Now a more mature note, let's talk about the game, yeah? Another reason why I believe this game deserves such praise is because of the history behind the game and its development. Over the course of about four and a half years, this game was made by one person, one developer only. Everything from art, to music, to the, to the actual programming of the game and the design. 
This was made, as I said, by Eric Baroni. And I read an article a while ago about how he was working long hours each day in a, in a job and then coming home to spend more time working on the game. His girlfriend helped him through the many years. Uh, you know, basically, they were like the support for each other. And honestly, good for them because it paid off. Because after, after it was released, the game blew up. So many people ended up buying and sharing the game. And that's honestly amazing. In an interview with King5, he says, quote, I want every moment to be filled with joy and wonder and bring back that feeling when you were a kid and you first played video games and everything was magical. Now, if that doesn't make you happy, I don't know I will. Once and for that, I just want to say thank you, Eric. You've done just that. This game was originally just something to build for and put on his res resume after his uh, uh, degree. And his thought was, oh, maybe it would only sell about like 10k, or you know, his goal, I guess, would to sell about 10k. Now, it's gone past. Well, to this date, it's grown, you know, past 20 million copies. And he's actually working on new games, or a new uh, one of them, which is announced already, called Haunted Chocolatier, uh, which I will put in the uh, description below if you want to watch the trailer yourself. Also interestingly, he also made this game to pay homage to one of his favorite childhood games, Harvest Moon, or series. Uh, Harvest Moon, which for me, the one I played was actually a spin-off. It was called Rune Factory A Fantasy Harvest Moon. Uh, it was a, a little long title, but I love that game because of the story, the combat, the farming. L like, basically the core DNA of what made Harvest Moon, Harvest Moon is the core DNA that's kind of actually in this game. And uh, I, I couldn't find the, uh, I'll try to find the article or like the video of it, but he even has, an, I'm pretty sure he has an interview with one of like the creative minds or something, or I guess like the creator of that series. So if I find that, I'll put that in the description below as well. By now, you should hopefully have a better idea of why I love this game, and why I claim it to be one of my top favorites. I hope I've convinced you to give this game a go, and why I think the game is amazing. If you actually play the game, and you want to voice your opinion, let us know. Well, let me know down in the comment section. But, like I said in the beginning, it does involve imagination to immerse yourself in this world, if that's something that you want to do. But really, it's just a fun, relaxing game. The game isn't forcing you to get good or have crazy intense reflexes. Just take your time and make your farm how you want it. This is a game I will still occasionally come back to, to unwind or even if I just want to have a pick-me-up. And if you or loved one is interested, you know, definitely show them this video and just show them some of the gameplay. And also, honestly, if you're a couple, this game can be great for the both of you to play since there's co-op and you can marry each other I think. So, if your partner's been wanting you to commit, why not commit? But, you know, just virtually. <laughs> it's cheaper that way, you know? But, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, show some love in the comments. I worked hard to put this together, it's, and I hope I can make more videos like this for other games. Um, you know, because uh, this is my first time making this like video essay. Type structure, I'm mostly a game, like, Let's Play channel, so if you guys like this, please show some support, and I'll do my best to make more of these in the future. Now, I'll leave you to, I'll leave you to it, and uh, hopefully you go and pick up the game. If you want to see me, I'll be uh, plowing the fields, plowing everything I see. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.